In today's video, we'll be making a beautiful off-shoulder Igbo blouse. The things we need for the Igbo blouse is your lace, fabric. I need a thick lining for it. This is a shiny face. This is my soft lining for it. I need a zipper, a thread, and a soft pad. This soft wording for my padding. Now let's get started. I'll fold my fabric into two. Using my hip measurement, 42 inches, divided by four will give me 10.5. I'll add 4.5 inches, making it 15 inches. That is the width of the blouse. Now for the length, this is an off shoulder. I'll remove five inches and measure the length of the blouse is 25 inches. Then I'll add two inches to it, making it 27 inches. So I will mark 27 inches. For the chest line, I will measure nine inches. Now I connect the lines. For the bust point, I will measure 11.5 inches. For the under bust, I will measure 15 inches. And for the waistline, I will measure 17 inches. So I will mark it and connect the lines. Now I'll connect the lines. Now this is the chest line. This is the boss point. This is the under boss and this is my half length. Now the first thing I will do, my boss to boss measurement is 8 inches. I will divide it into two making it four inches then i'll add half inch for seam allowance i will mark 4.5 inches just nice boss Point. now i've put this in so that you not get confused this is the chest line cl boss point on the boss half length and the hem line now i'll connect this line with my straight ruler to the hem line The next thing I will do now, place my curve. Now this is my bust point, and this is my under bust. From my under bust, now this is my under bust. From this center part, I will minus half inch. This is my center front. I will minus half inch. Why? From the side point, from the side, I will remove one and half inches making it two inches that is half inch from the center front and 1.5 from the side making it two inches now from this half length i will remove only one inch from this side and half inch from the center front making it 1.5 inches then from the hemline I'll just connect it from this point. I don't want it to. You can go ahead and remove half inch as well for the half, but I will leave it because of my seam allowance. Is that half inch I will use and join it? So I'm not going to minus from the damp part. The same thing to this side. I'm not going. Is that half inch? 
I will use as my seam allowance because if I might not see it, I'm going to add it up again here. So for me not to do double work, I have to leave. Now from here, I'm not going to minus anything. I'll connect this point to this point and this point. Okay, now this is my boss point. I'm going to take it to this one, but I don't want my curve to start exactly at the boss point. I have to mark two inches here. From these two inches, I will then place my curve. Then from the upper part, I will as well remove half inch here and one inch for the side. So from this point, I have to curve it down here. Then I'll connect this point to the boss point. So this is what I'm having. So I, I'm having two inches here. Don't forget at the under boss. Why at the half length I have 1.5 and at the upper side I have 1.5 as well. Before I cut out the side and the center. Now, my boss point is 41 inches. That is approximately 10 one quarter. This 10 one quarter here. And I have additional 3.5 inches here. Now my half length is 38 divided into 4 will give me 9.5. This is 9.5 inches. Now, here I have 1.5 inches. I will put it back here. This is 1.5 inches. Then I'll add, remember I added 3.5 at this upper side. I will add 3 inches here. This is 3 inches. So this is 42 divided by 4 will give me 10.5 is 10.5 inches and i add 3.5 inches here then i'll connect the lines Then for my armhole, my shoulder measurement is 16 inches divided into two will give me 8.5 inches. Then what I have here is, this is 1.5 inches. Yeah. So 8.5 plus 1.5 will give me 10. This 10 inches here. Remember 8.5 plus this 1.5 here. I will mark it again here for the chest line to determine my armhole. Then I will join it together. Then from this point, I will mark 2 inches upward. For the armhole, from these 2 inches, I will now cover it to, the, to this point. Then take it to this length. Then I'll cut it out. So this is my center front. And this is the two sides. 
Then the next thing we'll do now is to cut the back piece. Now this is the back, so I have the measurement of 27 inches. Remember I removed 5 inches. So this is 27 inches. I'll connect the lines with my straight ruler. Now my hip measurement is 42 inches divided by 4 will give me 10.5 this 10.5 inches so now i'll first remove 1.5 for the zipper first of all i will mark 1.5 down to the hemline i'll connect the lines together Now, this is my zipper line. Now, from this point, I'll determine the width of my blouse. My hip measurement is 10.5. That is 42 divided by 4, 10.5 inches. Then I added extra 2.5 inches as my allowance, half inch for my same allowance, then 2 inches for the main allowance. Now, what I need to do here is to Mark my chest line, which is nine inches. This is the chest line, and this is the back. So the second line I need is the waist line only. Then this is the hem line. So my chest line, my waist line. And the hem line, chest line nine inches, waist line seventeen inches, and my hip line twenty seven inches. Now, I'll still place my bust to bust measurement, which I mark 4.5 inches. That is, my bust to bust is 8 inches, divided by 2 will give me 4 inches plus half inch seam allowance. Now, from this point here, I'll determine my dart slope. So from my center back, I will mark half inch by the side and half inch, half inch for this side and half inch for this side. So this point now, I will connect it to this point. This is my dart slope. And another thing to avoid the puff at the back here, I will remove half inch. It's very, very important. But because of the zipper, this is zipper line. So I will remove half inch from here. which I'll just curve it this is to avoid the puff so because of this zipper what I will now do is to remove the half inch here because I can't remove it here because of the zipper line so by the time I minus it here I will now slope it down to this point So I'll cut this area off 
so we are still having 1.5 inches here you can see that the 1.5 still reflects here so what i did is just to remove half inch from this point now i'll take my measurement because this side is the zipper line so i have 10.5 inches here then 2.5 half inch for my seam allowance and two inches for the main allowance for my waist measurement my measurement is 38 inches divided into four will give me 9.5 from this point i have 9.5 inches then i have one inch here i remove from my dart i will place it back here making it 10.5 inches then my main allowance here is two inches half inch for seam allowance Y 1.5 is for the main allowance now from the down part i have 10.5 inches then i have 2.5 inches here then i'll join it together now my shoulder slope is 8.5 inches i have 8.5 inches here 8.5 inches i'll mark from this point you can see two inches upward now to place my back neckline remember i did not cut my front neckline because i'll cut it when i want to sew it now for the back neckline i will measure four inches i'm having five inches i'll just put half inch to slope it then for the damp part i will mark 2.5 inches i'll still do it for the front part you can use 2.5 or 3 inches let's make it 3 inches to place the curve then i will curve it i will slope it to the hemline I'll still slope the front part, so let me cut it out. So for this upper part, I'll still remove half inch here and half inch here for my dart. Now for the neckline, I place the front side to determine the round sleeve here remember i have five inches here i'll take it down to six inches and from this point i'll then slope it i've cut my neckline now from this down part this is the front side i will still mark the three inches i marked for the curve I open it up. Now this is the back, this is the front part. So the next thing I will do is to place it on my lace and cut out the patterns 
before I start soon. The sleeve, I will measure 20. This is 20 inches. Remember, it's off shoulder. So my round sleeve is 14 inches. Divided by 2 will give me 7 inches. Plus 1 inch, making it 8 inches. So this is 8 inches. Then I'll measure half of it, which is 10. From this point, here I'm having 8 inches. From here, I'll make it 7 inches. And here, I'll make it 6 and a half inches. Then I'll connect the lines. From this part, which is the shoulder part, I'll mark 3.5 inches here. And to the down part, I'll mark three and a half inches. I'll mark three and a half inches for this side. And to this shoulder side, I'll mark three and a half inches as well. Then I'll curve it. So this is the two sleeves. I cut two of them together. I'm having two sleeves here. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the sewing part. This is the first part.